Someone recently asked me about the future of the telephone, wanting to know exactly where it's going to be and how it's going to be used as we look into the future. But before we can really answer that question, the first thing that we have to do is we have to look at the history of the telephone. Now I'm not talking about doing a long extensive history of how it's been used, but more so just a quick snapshot to understand why it was used. Now, telephones were used for one purpose, and that was to communicate without being face to face. So our real question that we're trying to answer here then is, what is the future of communication? And that's where you need to start focusing. Is if we want to understand the future of the telephone or anything that you have, you have to first look at the context, and you have to look at the context of the future. Now this is where most people make their mistakes. They're looking out into the future and they're just trying to take a linear progression of, say, a piece of technology and blast it out 10 years. That's not how it works. Think about Facebook, right? Mark Zuckerberg back in you know the early 2000s wasn't sitting there thinking, hey, this is great. In less than a decade, this is going to be the number one tool used to overthrow a 30 plus year dictatorship in the Middle East. I mean, if he was, I stand corrected, but I doubt it. If you want to understand the future of communication, then you have to first understand what type of issues and obstacles and things are we going to have to actually communicate in order to resolve. In order to better understand how a tool or technology or trend or an issue is affecting the future, rather than just looking at its own industry or space that it operates in, so if it's technology, social media, whatever, look at the ways in which it impacts other areas that go beyond social media or technology or whatever the original intent for that technology actually is. That's how you'll better understand the ways in which this will impact and affect and create the context of the future. By doing this, you can have a better understanding of what the future of some tool is, but more importantly, what the future might actually be. That gives you a leg up and of course gives you a much more active role in creating the future.